What's popping, y'all? This your boy Bishop, back for episode 38 of Shit That Be On My Mind. If you like what I be saying, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Tonight, we're going to talk about Billy Porter and the uh, rodeo nigga. I can't even think of his dog name right now <laughs> off the top of my head, man. But you know what I'm saying? The nigga with the country song, the little gay little boy. You know what I'm talking about? Well, both of them gay. Now, these niggas was at the Grammys this past Sunday with some super gay shit on. And they and they claim to be gay. They like we gay. So for any black man that's looking at this, it's clearly a agenda to feminize us, man. Our DNA is the most dominant. We are the most genetically superior to any other race. So it's not too far fetched that they really trying to get rid of us slowly but surely. Look at the commercials. What they got? The white man, black woman. White man, black woman. They already telling us we ain't going to be part of the future. Then if we going to be part of the future, we going to either have to be like them niggas, some gay niggas. So for me, I just think this shit's some bullshit. And for any black woman that's listening to this, looking at this right now, I understand y'all want to support black men that's homosexuals i i get it you know what i mean because a lot of black men that's why we got the down low shit and you know a lot of us got black gay black men in our family we love them we ain't you know black men ain't no homophobes and all that shit that shit they be talking about i guarantee you 10 out of, out of 10 people at least nine got gay nigga in their family man and we will ride for one of ours man you hear me we will put hands on you about our gay cousin, our brother, or whoever. You understand? So we don't hate them or dislike them. We just don't like their behavior and what they do and what they and the shit that they they own. We don't like that because we just naturally know a man is not supposed to be like that. Period. Now, if that's their thing, that's their thing. Like my mama, God bless her soul. She's like, son, whatever they do with their ass, they ain't got nothing to do with. You know what I mean? That's that. That's their thing, man. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's clearly an agenda that's being put forth on us, man. So all the black women, y'all hear y'all, you know, ain't nobody hating them or don't nobody want to do nothing to them. And it's like uh, Pastor Troy that made his opinion. They, they, they dragging Pastor Troy. He just making his opinion how he feel. And it's a lot of us that feel like, like how Pastor Troy feel. You understand? But I see a lot of black women in the comments you know, sticking up for this shit, but then these the same black women who be like, man, these niggas out here is bitches. Ding, 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 ding. These niggas out here soft as hell. Ding, 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 ding. So the same shit you supporting is the same shit as reason why you can't find a strong black man. They all turn in wish-washy. You understand? So to me, I don't support no Billy Porter. I don't support the hometown road country nigga. You know what I'm saying? Is they talented? Maybe. That's a big maybe. But at the end of the day, man, ain't nobody riding with that gay shit, man. That shit is dead. You know what I mean? It's clearly the LGBTQ movement, the uh, white supremacists. They know what they doing, man. They is basically breaking up the black family. Put these gay niggas over here. Put these niggas, incarcerate these niggas. Turn the, uh, turn the um, females against the black, turn the black females against the black males. Uh, tell the black woman she's independent. She's the most strongest and the most dominant. Tell the black woman you need to be with a white man. Tell the black woman, hey, it's okay to be with another woman. They is tr strategically destroying the black family. And we helping these niggas. So me and others who stand up, we, I'm going to continue to stand up. You know what I mean? I might When I put this video up on YouTube, I'm pretty sure they're going to find a way to suppress it where it's going to get one, maybe two views. Hey, that's one, two people who saw it. Hopefully they can go tell the next person and, 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 and you know, and this, that, and the third about it, man. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to stop, man. And there's others like me that's not going to stop, man. We got to I got two boys, man. I got two boys. If they choose to go that way when they get older, of course I'm going to love them. 
But do I want them to go that way? Hell fuck no. You understand? So I'm going to try my best to put them up on game and let them understand who you are in your nature, man. Who you are as a human. If I don't care who you believe in. Buddha, Allah, Jesus, whoever the fuck you believe in. Whoever created us obviously made us yin and yang. I have a penis. A woman have a vagina for a reason. We're here to procreate. If everybody turns that way, how do we... How? If everybody turned that way, how we how are we supposed to move on? How we how are we supposed to create more people? You you get what I'm saying? Like Adam and Eve, if if Steve and Steve was the beginning of time, like Adam and Eve, there would be no civilization. Let the Bible tell it. So if you believe the Bible and you believe, oh, okay, Adam and Eve created Cain and Abel, this, that, and the third, and and all the other shit that goes along with the Bible. If it was all men, we wouldn't even be here. If it was all women, we wouldn't be here. So again, just simple DNA, simple, simple, just using your, your two brain cells, just using your mind. Obviously, we was put here to procreate to make more life, man. I have sperm. A woman have an egg. Two men can't make no kids, man. Two women can't make no kids, man. So this whole agenda is definitely an agenda. Like the other argument black women got, I see in the comments. Well, back in the 70s, you know, they dressed like this. You know, the Izzy brothers and all them other cats back in the... Yeah, they dressed wild, but them niggas was manly. They was knocking hoes down. <laughs> you hear me? Them niggas had on some feminine shit, but they was knocking hoes down. You hear me? Prince knocking hoes down. You hear me? So they didn't proclaim to be gay on top of dressing gay. These niggas is gay and dressing gay. That's a double whammy. Now, if the hometown road nigga and Billy Porter were dressing like that, but they was getting hoes, eh, it still be kind of like, ah, you niggas wild. But then you look back, on, back in the day and say, well, Prince and all the niggas back in the 70s did it. It is what it is. But for them niggas, man, to be like openly like I'm gay, and then on top of that you dress gay, then it's clearly a, to me an agenda. Period. So I'm not riding with that shit. Period. So that's all I gotta say on it, man. You have a good night.